Welcome to exercise two. The challenge is to write a program that asks the user for the length and width of their room. It says to define a constant that represents the price of carpeting per square foot, compute and display the cost of carpeting the room. So if you would like to try this on your own, pause the video now and go ahead and try it. If not, you can just follow along and now I'm going to solve it. So the first thing we should do is we should define the constant that represents the price of carpeting per square foot. So basically per square foot, how much does it cost? This is a perfect candidate for creating a constant because the price is not going to change. So I'm going to say const int, I'm going to make it just a nice $5, const int um, per square foot equals 5. So I'm just defining this constant per square foot and I'm sending it equal to 5. That's all I'm doing. The next thing I want to do is I want to read in the length and the width of the room of the user. So I'm going to say console.write line, enter the length of your room. So I'm going to say int length equals int.parse console.read line to read in whatever they typed in and convert it to an integer. Now I'm going to say console.write line, enter the width of your room. With equals int dot parse console dot read line. So now we have the length and the width. So basically, we need to get the price because the price is per square foot. So we need to get that basically. So we're going to times our length and our width together. So int area equals length times width. So there's our area. The next thing we need to do is we need to get the price. So how much is going to cost for my area? So I'm going to say int price equals area times my per square foot. So basically it's going to times it by the constant price. Now, if we want to make this more practical before we continue that the user can enter in um, decimals for everything and everything should maybe should be decimals we can just change everything to a double so our price may be 5.5 so five dollars and fifty cents maybe is better we can convert our length and our width our area and our price we can do everything as a double so instead we just do double dot parse instead of int dot parse so that, so that you can see this allows it to be more flexible so you can type in whole numbers or decimal numbers. So now we have our area and our price. So the last thing we need to do is just display how much it's going to cost to carpet this room, basically. So I'm going to say the price to carpet this. And I'm going to give like the dimensions. I'm going to say by is... So I'm saying the price to carpet this maybe three by four room is and then the price. So I'm going to plug them in. So I'm going to say length with price. Let's go ahead and see. So I'm going to say enter um, the length of your room five. Enter the width of your room five. So as you can see, it says the price to carpet this five by five room is $137.5. Now, with it being a constant, I can just simply go back and modify my price and say, no, it's only 150 to, uh, for per square foot. So I'm going to go ahead and run that and say I have a 5x5 five five room again. And you can see now it's only $37. So you can directly manipulate how much the price will be by modifying this constant. It's good to do it this way by putting this constant variable and then everything uses that so that if multiple things are using that variable, if you change it once, everything will be changed at the same exact time. So that is it for this exercise. If you solve this on your own, good job, and you're in a good place for the next exercise.